So yeah, this game is called Night Fisherman. It's by published by Far Few Giants, and again, just mentioned that they have um, very similar looking games, but different stories, obviously. And we just finished playing a visual novel, but I think this is like a little different. Um, yeah, we'll just get into it. You are a night fisherman. I love that there's no like opening, like this is the opening credits. Okay, you spot a boat approaching in the distance. After stowing your flashlight, you reach over the side of the boat and collect a palm full of water. You throw it over your face, washing the night's stresses away. You picked up your rod and open your bait pouch. Hook a live maggot. You wince as you pierce its squirming body, behold it regretfully for a moment, and cast a line. Oh, who's this bitch? <laughs> the man in the other boat has a thin strap across his body. On his back, you can see the protruding stock of a gun. Oh, I like that. You can change the camera scenes. Churchill. Hello, sir. I am Churchill with the EPG. Oh, no. No, not like this. Excuse me. We don't need to become famous, bestie. I'm so sorry. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> I always appreciate people wanting asking me all the time. They at least they ask, you know. Um, hello. I'm checking in with all vessels in the area. I'm wondering if you wouldn't mind lending me a lighter. Mine must have gone overboard. Okay. This is so weird that you can change the scene yourself. Hey, of course. You toss the lighter to the other boat. Thank you, sir. You are Mr. Gardener, are you not? That will be me. The other man lights his cigarette, then pockets your lighter. You steal a glance around your boat. And you know who I am? What I do? I do. Then please tell me, what is it that I do? You find immigrants. Or stay silent. Hmm. Yeah. You consider for a moment as Churchill's eyes fix on you. You're part of the English Protection Group. You stop smugglers from bringing immigrants into e in England. Bingo. That's the job Mr. F has given us, indeed. It is my duty to sail out about- Oh. It is my duty to sail about, checking every boat out there, checking the caves. Our leader doesn't want any immigrants slipping through the net. It's good speaking with you, Mr. Churchill. But how am I to able to help? Ah. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like that you have to change the thing, but whatever. I'm sure you can't. I'm told you're an upstanding man, Mr. Gardner. Oh, but perhaps you can help me another way. You must hear gossip, perhaps, from Mrs. Gardner. Have you heard anything about the smugglers? Ah. You reach down, grab a tin of cheaply shandy base beer. Also, I... I it, now that I realize that it's like English channel and they're probably speaking in, with an English accent, it's like, no, you can never, you can never expect me to try to gnaw. I heard they moved further north. Okay. Just a rumor, mind you, but they moved north. Apparently there's better caves near the next estuary anyway. So they let the French counterparts know how to make a slightly longer journey. Ah, shame. Perhaps they outfox us this time. The man sighs into his cigarettes as you drink your watery lager. What is this? 
What was that POV? Holy shit. My work here is done. Sorry to have troubled you. Not at all, sir. A welcome distraction. Churchill drops his shoulders. He's at ease now. His threatening presence is dissipating. Churchill turns his hand to his boat, readying himself to leave. Caught anything tonight? Not much luck, no. Nor me. What do they call me? You know what they call me in the lefty papers? He oh my god. He hovers for your answer. The Kid Fisher. You're apprehensive, unsure how he'll react. They call you the Kid Fisher. Yes, a name I've well earned. <clears throat> He's focused on you again now. No longer leaving. Oh, <gasps> the kid. Oh my god. I'm dead. I, I just realized that, honestly. It's kind of dark, but then I think it makes sense. No longer leaving. They call me this because I'm best at fishing. Oh, they call me this because I'm the best at fishing immigrants out of this channel before they reach shore. And because they say I cast them back out of water. Out to water. It's not a perfect metaphor. Here's a better one. The animal that best embodies the character of an Englishman is naturally the lion. We are proud, stubborn, often uninterested in menial labor, but so powerful that others will do it for us. So most of the EPG will hunt in places where, which could hide a lion. They check sturdy shipping containers and yachts. But illegal immigrants are pigeons, not lions. They swarm in great number, attra attracted to urban places, roost anywhere they can, and most importantly, we don't like them. Now, pigeons are really no different than the beloved Jay. But we, we malign the pigeon, consider them dirty, vermin. It's difficult to be a pigeon. Mr. Gardner, I'm the best at catching them because I know what tremendous feats human beings are capable of once they abandon dignity. You listen in silence. Ah, anyway. I assume you won't mind it if I enjoy a tri tipple? What is a tipple? Oh my god. The other man pulls an elegant bottle out of his jacket pocket. The blue, gla the blue glass is artfully blown to appear as if thorny rose stems are wrapped around it. The bottle is capped with a cast metal stopper in the shape of a rose. He removes it and drinks from the bottle. Sapphire rose. There's no better scotch. I... Shh. I'm going to have to inspect your boat, but when people cooperate with me, they are not punished. In fact, they are given safe passage home to their loved ones, and no charges are bought, brought. Do you understand? Oh my god. That's not good. I. The kid fisher's face becomes deadly serious. You're transporting an illegal immigrant, are you? Aren't you? And consider for a second that is not very <laughs> and that very consideration gives you away there's nothing for it now oh no i they're hiding underneath that tarpaulin behind you aren't they tears mixed with sea spray and sweat dripping into the boat i i will now throw you a line move far away from the tarpaulin and get ready to swim oh my god the rope attached to the larger vessel lands at the fore of the boat away from the tarp. Follow his instructions. You shuffle to the front of the boat and take the safety line, hands quivering. You keep your eyes up, away from the boy under the tar tarpaulin. Churchill takes another sip of sapphire rose, stoppers it, and places it back into his coat, or inside his coat. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm losing my voice. Wait, need water. God, this is kind of like wild, honestly. What's going on? I mean, I know what's going on, but like, jeez. I hope the boy is okay. I don't know. I hope I'm making the right decisions. Excellent. Mrs. Gardner would be very, very pleased to have you home safe and sound. 
Oh god. Rule Britannia. Your boat flips the hull shot through for a few section section sec oh god now I'm really running out of oh I'm so sorry. Your boat flips the hull shot through for a few seconds all is black. The rope begins to pull you through the bitter waves. Churchill heaves you aboard his boat and then handcuffs you slumped against the guardrail. For a few seconds he watches the water, weapon at the ready. The boy resurfaces, gasping at the sea air. Churchill lines up his final shot, then relaxes the gun with an ecstatic grin. Laughing, he turns to his vessel and readies it to sail on. I hope we meet again. Goodbye, little one. Watching the boat leave, the boy begins weakly to swim. I don't think he'll- I don't think that's gonna be good. I don't think he's good. We're making one short narrative game a month. To play more like this, search for far few giants. Cheese. That was rough. Holy shit. I wonder if I like made a different decision. We would have probably kept the boy alive, but you know. Interesting. That was yeah, that was way too short. But like it's also interesting, like a little political. I don't know. Especially, it's very now. It's very now. There's a lot there. There's a lot to unpack that I don't know if I want to get into, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I did not like did not like the switching of camera angles. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think they should focus on not doing that and, like, and make it simpler. I don't think it was simple. simple. I don't like being forced to use camera angles in a choices matter game out of all things but anyway that's just me